Okay, welcome back to Fallout 3. <laughs> Let's roleplay. Albert Cole. Right, I was just getting some coffee. Alright, oh, yeah, now I remember. <laughs> now I remember. Hello, Roy. What do you want? Uh... Well, I guess we already know what he's doing. He's hiding here. Uh, you know, Roy, that Gustavo guy at the Tempeli Tower, did you know that he hired me to kill you? Is that so? He isn't man enough to do it himself. Sends a boy to do his dirty work. You think you got what it takes? Relax, Roy. It's just a warning, not a threat. I'm not gonna kill you. I see. That's smart of you. I'd lay you flat if you tried anything stupid. So don't. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes are in for a real treat soon enough. They can't keep us out of that tower forever. Uh, you know, I might be able to get you in there. I already got a plan. They think I'm a monster? I'll show them the real monsters. We'll unleash our feral brethren on them. All those bigoted sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is getting past the damn subway access door. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. There must be some way to get that open. Uh, let me try to talk to Tenpenny. Maybe he won't mind you living there. Snooty bitches probably can't stand living with each other, let alone with us. But by all means, try talking to Tenpenny if you like. But it won't work. Then we'll do it my way. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on them. Right. Okay, well, to go now. Hurry up. Those bigots got big comeuppance waiting for them. I mean to give it to them soon. Now get. Right. Yeah, it's not this. <laughs> oh, he said hey to each other. Okay. I thought, because he literally said that hey, like the moment that I stole that stuff, so I thought it was like, you know, like hey. I saw you take it, you know, but apparently not. Paint gun. Yeah. Yeah, now that they are not here, just quickly. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, God, no cigarettes. Good. Nice. Poppy pin for picking locks. Cherry bombs, very useful for. Ooh, Nuka Cola Quantum, nice. Ten millimeter ammo. Scrap metal, yes. Sensor modules, cigarettes and conductor, oh yes, cherry bombs, like a lot of them. Nice. Paint guns, well those would be useful for, 
Yeah, why not? They are useful for... Um, you want to make uh, dart guns, you yeah. know. Let's save my game. Nothing I want to steal. People have money. Ammo. Darts. <laughs> Brace. Yeah. Oh, cherry bombs, beautiful, you can use those to make uh, railway spikes, yes, another skill book, yeah, this is a real treasure trove. Am I neutral in my karma? Oh. <laughs> I'm still very good. I think the balance of like the way the game gives you good karma or, or bad karma, I don't think it's very well balanced. Like, you know, this guy has done a lot of stealing, but just because, you know, but then I think like killing like mm, um you know, raiders and lunchbox raiders and you know ghouls feral ghouls and it just gives you so much like positive karma that it doesn't matter how much I like steal stuff metro generator access okay doesn't seem to matter how much i steal still it's still <laughs> very good karma oh. well you know actually let's not go that way then so there's ghouls in there. Right. Well, well, we'll go the other way around, sure. Oh, by the way, yeah, we picked up some skill books. We might as well. Big book of science, Dean's Electronics, Pugilism Illustrated, yeah. That's skill books. Right. Stealing a lot of stuff and still were very good karma, so. Hmm. Well, okay, let's uh, let's try to get into character. Okay, guess I could try to sneak this way. Hmm, have to be very careful. Did I? Oh, am I going the wrong way again? Hmm. 
है ना और मैं भी वो केम फ्रॉम दैट हुआ है I still just sneak out, or are they like following me? Maybe they're not very perceptive, so. Well, I guess if I. Go upstairs, I could leave that way. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Instead of trying to backtrack all the way to where I came from. Right, I believe it's this one. Yeah, that's the ten minutes more. Hmm. Let's see. Ya. Let's have a look at this place. Oh, that's a big one. Oh. Oof. Now obviously the dark one didn't do too much to slow it down. I mean, maybe it slowed it down just a little bit, but uh. <coughs> Luckies. Yeah, this would be part for the shish kebab lunch box. All right. Are you having fun with that? All right. Yeah. Ah. Uh, repairs. No problem. As long as you're good for it. Hmm. Okay, yeah, why not? A few odds and ends. Yeah, let's do business. Why not? Uh, take the assault rifle, yes. Um, what else can I sell to you? Oh, yeah, the plenty of cigarettes. Uh, let's see, you have the cherry bomb. Yeah, right away could be nice. 44 rounds. Sure. Oh, I want to exchange some 
Okay, maybe I'll take like a frag grenade and then you can take some cigarettes. Yeah. A pleasure doing business with you. Bye. Likewise. I think. Yep, these are the lucky shades. Wear them, you get actually some point in luck. What's my my luck is eight now, so when I'm wearing this, when I'm wearing this, I get actually extra points in luck. Uh, uh. And I need some healing. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Long company jerks. Ugh. Yeah. Well, these are rifles. Yeah, nice of you, you know, not to help me. Okay. Well, at least the stronger I get, you know, the easier it becomes to deal with these guys. Um, and nowadays, it's a, they're actually a very good source of, you know, combat armor. Every time they send a hit squad to kill me, and every time that they fail, well, that leaves me, no, <laughs> that gives me three extra sets of uh, combat armor. Which is nice. All right, this is. Give me a second. Keep your panties on. Yeah. Hmm. Hey. Right. Let's talk to people. Introductions are in order. I am Mrs. Edgar Wellington. You may refer to me as Madam or My Lady Wellington. It's very nice to meet you, My Lady Wellington. You're better mannered than your apparent greeting would indicate. It is nice to make your acquaintance. 
You didn't happen to catch a glimpse of any ghouls on your way in here, did you? Uh, I'm not afraid of ghouls. That doesn't surprise me. You should talk to Gustavo. He might be able to use someone like you. So, do you know much about what's in the basement? What do you take me for? Some greasy engineer? All I know is that's where they make the electricity. Why don't you go bother Gustavo? I'm sure he can handle whatever it is you need in the basement. Edgar Wellington II, have you met my wife, Millicent? Hold on, who let you in here? Don't worry, I was let in at the front gate. <laughs> Very well. As long as security is aware of your presence. Can't be too careful these days. What with these ghouls and all. Gustavo says he has the situation well in order, but I wonder if he's really trying. Don't suppose you ran into any ghouls on your way in here? Well, I don't consider ghouls to be a problem. Is that what you're asking? Then you obviously don't know anything about ghouls. Well, have you been to the basement? Why would I ever go to the basement? Talk to Gustavo about such nonsense. Uh, how would you feel about having a few ghouls as neighbors? <laughs> You're joking, right? You serious? Of course not. Ghouls can't live here. They're dirty, loathsome creatures. Well, I met these ghouls. They're civilized and pose no threat. I'm afraid I can't abide by that. I can't imagine Tenpenny would allow it. But I certainly won't. Oh, this is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. This is outrageous, preposterous, forced out by a bunch of dirty ghouls and some bleeding heart activists. Where will I live? How will I get there? I'm sure you'll find something suitable. Don't worry. I found a comfortable place, but now I must leave. When I die, it will be on your head. Hello. Charmed, I'm sure. And how are you this fine day? You take care of those ghouls yet? I'm working on it. Uh, I yeah, let, let's deal. Okay. Yeah, you also have steam packs. Good. Okay. Um. Well, yeah, I guess I could trade a laser rifle for a whole bunch of these. Oh, and you're still giving me like a hundred. That's good. That's good. Packs of cigarettes. Hmm, pre-war money. 180, yeah. Electric charge packs. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. All of this. Oh, okay, this is actually quite valuable. Yeah, some ammunition. I'm on steam packs. Sure. Give me a shout if you need anything else. How would you feel about having a few ghouls as neighbors? Hell no. Tenpenny won't allow it. 
and I take my orders from him. Well, what if Ten Penny will let Goose live here? He'd be out of his goddamn mind. And like I said, ultimately, I work for him, so whatever he says goes. But I wouldn't like it. Right. You mean the generator room? What the hell do you need to know about that for? That area is strictly off limits. Just curious. There's an emergency entrance to the tunnels. You know, for when the bombs fell. We siphon power from the metro grid to keep our generators running. <laughs> but I promise not to touch anything with a let me in. I've got the only key, and I ain't lending it to you. I lost it once and had to make a new one. Penny Penny practically bit my head off, so forget it. Okay, I have to go now. Splendid. Simply splendid. Thanks so much for asking. What do you think you're doing? Huh. Oh, generator key, yeah. Yes, I just have to try to spam this, so... Uh, generator. Good. Well... I'm not too. Ah, okay, I guess. I guess it's not happening. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, save's coming. I know, I know. around here. I'm Margaret Primrose. I run the Café Beaumont. Stop by sometime. Oh, Margaret, how would you feel about having a few ghouls as neighbors? I've heard they carry diseases. I'd have to sanitize everything after them all the time. Besides, they are dangerous, aren't they? Well, what if they kept themselves clean and didn't bother anyone? I don't know. As long as they don't cause trouble. And they'd have to try to fit in with our established community. I guess I'd be willing to give it a try. Would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that you wouldn't mind ghouls as neighbors? I guess so, sure. Oh, okay. That was easy. Have a good one. I think I'll take a moment for myself and eat a little something. I am Comrade Cheng, beloved leader of the people, shining servant of the community. How can I help you? Well, it's nice to meet someone with a sense of civic duty. Thanks, Comrade. I'm sure you'll agree the people are only as strong as their leader. That's why I do my best to serve the community to the fullest. Speaking of service to the community, I don't suppose you are familiar with ghouls, are you? More importantly, how to kill them? I formed a committee to investigate the problem. Uh, it will take more than a committee to deal with the problem. I think I can help. That's wonderful, comrade. Truly wonderful. Before you go ghoul hunting, Talk to Gustavo. He might be able to help you. How would you feel about having some ghouls as neighbors? Ghouls wouldn't make the best of neighbors, comrade. Comrade, I met these ghouls. They seem friendly enough, more than this lot. Well, perhaps you're right, comrade. Some of these folk have a few things to learn about camaraderie. That's for sure. Well, all right. 
I'm willing to give them a chance. Good. Would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that, you would of my ghoul neighbors? All right, comrade. We'll welcome them into the community. Yep, time for me to go. Well, oh, she's not here. Well, I suppose it is quite late, so. Hmm. Right. Yeah. Hey. I'm Michael Hawthorne. Who are you? And more importantly, should I care? Oh, I'm not but in particular, but I'm sure you'll soon come to like me. Oh, fine. We'll have to share a drink sometime. I'm always in the Federalist Lounge. There's certainly plenty to drink about. Take those ghouls, for example. Don't suppose you know anything about dealing with their kind, do you? You could say that I'm an expert when it comes to dealing with ghouls. Really? Fantastic. You can give that Gustavo a lesson or two. How would you feel about having a few ghouls as neighbors? You've heard the stories, I'm sure, about the mindless ones eating brains and the like. Well, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with all that. Well, I met these ghouls. They're civilized and pose no threat. Really? Well, as long as they don't bother me, I guess I really don't care. Would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that? You wouldn't mind ghoul neighbors? What the hell? Sure. Okay, I have to go now. Right on. Tiffany Cheng. My name is Tiffany Cheng. My miserable excuse for a husband is Comrade Irving Cheng. And you can tell him I said so. Uh, you put up with a lot from your husband, huh? Do you know he tried forming a committee to discuss the ghoul situation? A committee! He made himself chairman, of course. Of what course. What we need is somebody to do something, not just talk about it. Don't suppose you know anything about ghouls, do you? Well, I could take a whole pack of ghouls without breaking a sweat. That's terrific. A real man of action. That's just what we need. How would you feel about having a few ghouls as neighbors? I don't know. I mean, they're all deformed and scary looking. I bet they're really mean, too. Mm, I met these ghouls. They seem friendly enough. Well... You seem like you know what you're talking about. I guess I'd be willing to give it a try. I might not spend much time with them. But if they do anything stupid, I'm sure they'll get kicked out. Fine. It's okay. Would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that you wouldn't mind ghoul neighbors? I guess so. Good. I have to go now. Bye now. Watch your manners. Welcome to the Federalist Lounge. I'm Shakes. Wet your whistle. Uh, sure. I'd love a, I'd, 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 I would love a drink, friend. I see, sir. Very well. May I pour you a drink? <laughs> I guess we can also ask about him. How would you feel about having a few wool neighbors? Don't have any data in my files about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. You better not cause any more trouble. Oh, shush. Is the doctor working late today? 
guess not. Ah. Must have come a little too late. Yeah, you know what? Well, uh, in the name of killing some time, let's nip back at Megaton. Let's go back to Megaton and we'll and you know tomorrow we'll return to uh, Ten Penny Tower. Just want to you know stash some extra stuff in here. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah, I have the extra, extra set of combat armor, I can definitely throw that away, yeah. Might have a couple of food items I can throw away, noodles, nuke, cola, quantums, purified water. Yao Goi meat and some crafting and crafting materials. So, uh, conductor, fishing batteries, leather belts, lunch boxes, medical brace, paint guns, poison glands, scrap metal, sensor modules, surgical tube, and bear car, under glue. Right. Hmm. Probably takes a couple of hours to fast travel to to ten penny towers so. or Uh, okay, it's time to be morning. Well, yeah. Yeah, guards. Trash pin. Hmm. Perfectly good cigarettes there. Where's not want not? And there was the basement over there. I'm off duty. Come back when. Ah, uh, what the hell? Let's just get it over with. I'm Dr. Banfield. What do you need? Uh, how would you feel about having ghoul neighbors? I knew it was only a matter of time before you asked me about that. I've decided I want to do my own study of ghoul physiology. Who knows? I could even publish my findings. Oh, that's great. Would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that you wouldn't mind ghoul neighbors? Sure, no problem. Great. Try not to break anything important. Mm. Right. How about? Oh yeah. That, well, that that's the doctor's office, right? How about that Montenegro girl? Yeah, she's the one who runs. Let's see. Oh, that's. Yes, this better not be a waste of my time. How would you feel about having a few ghoul as neighbors? Ah, yes. <laughs> I was wondering when you'd try me. 
You may be able to coerce the others, but I'm not such a pushover. Your zombie buddies will need to find someplace else to live. Oh, this is happening. They're going to have to deal with it. Get forced out. You horrible little zombie lover. What right do you and your disgusting buddies have to push honest, hardworking, important people around like that? Where do you propose I live? I'm sure you'll find something suitable. Don't worry. Don't worry? Did you just step out of a vault? Yes, I did. Haven't you seen what's out there? I'm doomed. And it's all your fault. Those clothes are atrocious. You should stop by my shop, new urban apparel, and freshen up that look. Upgrade to fabulous. How would you feel about having a few ghouls as neighbors? It's my turn, eh? Well, you won't be getting me to go along with your ridiculous plan. Ghouls aren't human. They live in filth. They eat their own babies. You're out of your right freaking mind. Oh, this is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. Uh, you'll regret this. I've spent years collecting all this fabulous merchandise. I won't stand for this. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh, I'm sure you'll find something suitable. Don't worry. The only suitable place is Tenpenny Tower. Everywhere else stinks and caters to low-life scum like you. I'll die out there. I just know it. Yeah. New here? Pick. Uh, and I'm pretty smart it is. Very kind of you to say so. Thank you. Yeah, but I think I already talked to her about... Hmm. And Tiffany. What? Yeah. And then... Lean on to Necro. Yeah, I've talked to her. Yeah, it doesn't really specify who. And I've been here. All right. Uh, the sweets. Hmm. I know there's at least there's that one adventure guy who lives here. Oh, that's Chen, Irvin Chen. <laughs> Pencils. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, that uh, daring dashwood guy. Herbert Daring Dashwood he also lives here. I mean, surely I would also have to ask his opinion. Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. Well, I'm here to see Tenpenny. But if you weren't so incompetent, you'd know that. Hold on there a minute. Oh, all right, I'll let you in. But if Tenpenny hollers because he isn't expecting you, you're dead. Mm -mm. Tenpenny tomorrow, let's see. Anyone in here? Yeah, skill magazine, that's good. Lying concretional style. 
Yeah, he's probably out of the balcony, I think, so... You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. Well, there are some ghouls who want to live here. What do you think about that? Why, I do believe you've lost your mind. Ghouls living here? You're serious? Well, what if the residents are okay with ghoul neighbors? I don't suppose I'd mind terribly if ghouls were to live here. Huh. And it would be a good bit of sport hunting them down if they misbehaved. I dare say, though, you'll have a bit of trouble convincing certain residents to go along with your novel proposition. Tell you what, if you can convince Mr. and Mrs. Wellington, Mr. Ling, Miss Montenegro, and Ms. Lancaster, those ghouls can live here. Have you seen me shoot? I'm quite proficient, if I do say so myself. Well? You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. Um. Uh, okay, I guess... Did my quest update? Hmm. Ah, so I may have missed some. Hello, dear. Oh, Lancaster. Well, well, what have we here? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Susan Lancaster. Perhaps we can become better acquainted in the near future. <laughs> you bet. I like meeting new people. Me too. Especially rich, fine young men. Mm. Listen, you look like you can handle yourself. You survived out there in the wasteland getting here after all. You ever have to deal with ghouls? I'm no stranger to violence, if that's what you're getting at. You're exactly the kind of man we need around here. Chief Gustavo and his pack of goons aren't doing their job. Those ghouls keep coming back. Somebody's bound to get hurt sooner or later. How would you feel about having a few ghouls as neighbors? I know all about your plan to get your ghoul pals in here, and I'm putting a stop to it. You can't just go around pushing us around like that. I've dealt with people like you before. People who think they know what's good for everybody else. I know what's best for me, and that's no ghouls. So you can run along and tell your ghouls they'll just have to find somewhere else to squat. Or better yet, to go off and die somewhere. Oh, this is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. I'm done with the wasteland. And I've been everywhere else. There isn't anything better than this. Damn you and your ghouls. Oh, don't worry. You'll find something suitable. I'm not going anywhere. I'll talk to Tenpenny. I bet I can live in Burke's place. He's never around anyway. And when he does come back, I'll make sure he's fine with the new arrangement. I'll just send up for my food. I'll never even have to look at you or your ghoul buddies. Hmm. Mr. Mrs. Wilmington Ling Montenegro. I'm pretty sure I have now convinced everyone. So Can I help you? Let's see. You have a curious look about you. I presume you have something interesting to tell me. Uh Really? I didn't... Is there something still missing? Or is the quest somehow... 
the Lancaster. I just talked to her. Then morning. Primrose. Hmm. I am confused. My name is Confucius. You better behave. Hmm. I just have to do things, you know, the violent way then. Yes. Those are just book Good to see you. Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. I know you. You're that guy. Yeah. Talk to you already. President. Watch your manners. Are all young people ill bred these days? How would you feel about having a few ghouls as neighbors? My neighbors might be out of their minds, but I am not. Those ghouls will not be living here. Oh, this is happening. You're going to have to deal with it or get forced out. Damn it. This can't be happening. Why do you think I came here in the first place? To get away from ghouls, monsters, and scum like you. Now I'll have to start all over again. Where will I go? Oh, don't worry. I already did. I hope one of your ghoul buddies kills you. You'll see. Yes? Okay, I guess I... Dashwood. Hey, Herbert Dashwood. Damn glad to meet you. Call me Derry. Everyone else does. Daring? Bet you had to earn that nickname, huh? Maybe you've heard the GNR radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That's about me, you know. Really? Based on my, um, earlier days. I even had a ghoul manservant. Let me ask you. You ever met a ghoul before? Ah, uh, sure. I met some ghouls. They're just people trying to get by. Ah, you already learned some wisdom in your youth. Congratulations. Ah, uh, you mentioned something about GNR. Well, actually, uh. Well, I bet you know a thing or two about those ghouls. Uh, yeah. Some ghouls moved into the nearby metro tunnel. There's a bunch of the so-called feral ghouls in there, but a handful seem the sociable type. I've tried explaining to my fellow tenants that not all ghouls are monsters, but they don't seem to care. The intelligent ones should stay away from our trigger-happy protectors. If there are enough feral ones, though, eh, they could overwhelm security. Well, how would you feel about having a few ghouls as neighbors? Well, I wouldn't mind, but they'd better be civilized. The tenants here are real uppity, and most wouldn't take kindly to ghouls living here. So you wouldn't mind if some civilized ghouls moved in? Like I said, it's fine by me. 
Would you tell Mr. Tenpenny that you were among cool neighbors? Of course. I wonder if they've ever been to Underworld. Now there's an interesting vacation destination. You mentioned something about GNR. Haven't you ever heard the radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That guy at the radio station put it together a few years ago. He did it in the style of those shows they had before the war. Came out pretty well. And it's all true. Rockopolis, Miss Chase, all of it. Of course, they do portray me as a bit of a chump. Argyle may have saved my hide more than once, but I had my moments. Ah, those were the days. Right. Oh, tell me about Argyle. Argyle was my manservant. Ah, but that's really just a fancy word for the guy who saves my sorry skin on a regular occasion. He was a ghoul, you see. Been around since before the war. We met when I stole his girlfriend back in 41. We've been best friends ever since. We got separated a long time ago and never reunited. If you find Argyle out there somewhere, you be sure and tell me, okay? Sure. I'll do that. Okay, I have to go now. Go get him! Mm -hmm. And this goes to the lobby, okay. Now surely, surely, surely by now I have already talked to everyone about the cool situation. So let's try talking to Tenpenny once again. You have a curious look at Yes, yes, you always say that. So, Mr. Tenpenny, the bigots have all been taken care of. So the ghouls can move in now, right? Well, if my tenants want ghoul neighbors, they can have them. Though the ghouls must pay and follow the rules like everyone else. That sounds fair. You're a clever one, aren't you? I'm glad this situation has been resolved. It's a bit crass, but here's a little something for your troubles. Oh, nice. Nice. Hmm. Let's see. All right, yeah. It's always that. It's always that risk that you know those uh, get ambushed by those uh, um, mercenaries. Hmm. Talon Company mercenaries. Oh, where's, where is the way down here? Yeah, and right, go here. Well, that was a long and tedious process. Oh, that's Michael. Michael Masters. Oh, huh, where is... Uh, where is he? Where is Roy? Oh, they should. Oh, what are you doing behind the barrel? Yeah, I've taken care of things. You can move in now. Really? 
Good job, kid. I was willing to unleash the pharaohs and kill all those bigots. Guess I don't have to now. Here's a little something for your troubles. It'll help you deal with our pharaoh brethren if you meet any. Yeah, the ghoul mask. Okay, I have to go now. Give them hell. Right, let's uh, put on the ghoul mask. Yeah, I don't think I could wear the shades at the same time, but <laughs> I can at least wear a hat. I think it occupies the the eye slot or the face slot. So. Yeah, so the thing about this mask is that when you wear it, ghouls will not attack you. Which is, of course, awfully nice of them. And let's test it. Well, suppose I don't have to sneak. Yeah. So as you can see, there's a ghoul, well, there's three ghouls over there. But none of them are now hostile to us. Even more ghouls. A glowing one, too. All oh, this, yeah, radioactive waste. Which I suppose is something that the ghouls enjoy. Right, so... So, what to do next? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, just try to think about what to do next. Uh, yeah, let's right. So, quest wise, what kind of quests do we now have? The Replicated Man, Galaxian's Radio, Agatha's Song. Well, that would, I guess that would pretty much mean that we should now, we should, uh, you know, start heading to um, the DC rooms. All right, then. And, uh, yeah, we'll go to here, or not. Well. What do you need? Repairs? Yeah, repair the lucky shades. Nice. Oh. 
Well. I did not want to kill you, but... Seeing as you insisted on attacking me... I didn't have much of a choice now, did I? Oh, skill book. You did not give me much choice. Hmm. Oh, orange box, surgical tube in here. Pressure cooker. Oh. Conductor. Yeah. Terminal hard, huh? Let's try to hack this. Well, yeah, guess he guess he noticed us stealing a prosperity. Can't be definitely. Can't be delivering. Mm, would be separating. Okay, it's not, and it's not an ING word either. Well, okay, yeah, yeah, can't be that. Well, yeah, okay, can't be that, so. Hmm. Yeah, it can't be an ING word, right? No, it can't be this, no. No, it can't be a restaurant, no. And I'm uh, not ING. Hmm. No, it can't be hesitation. Mm. 
yeah, can't you know no no can't play this. I don't know in G No, it can't be vehemently. Not only in G only G um Yeah, it can't be performance. No, 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 can't be separation. If it's not separating, no, 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 no. Can't be this. Mm. No, it can't be technician. Revolution. No. Ah, okay. Oh boy. Yeah. This is difficult. Just a dot removed. Allowance replenished, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's probably not an eon word, it's not ing word. Prosperity, super. Technician, uh, performance. Okay, that was just a guess. Uh, I was getting so tired of trying to figure that out. So that was purely guesswork. Probably the safe over here. But yeah. Hmm. Packs of cigarettes. Oh, that's a <laughs> piece of a scavenger. You lost karma. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Good stuff. Good stuff. Railway spikes. Hmm. I suppose I could take a couple of pressure cookers, but aside from that, yeah, mm. right. Mm. Leaf blower. Okay. That's and tin cans that are, you know, not broken. I don't know if this a Braxo cleaners or detergent. Right, so back to Megaton.
Hi. Hey there. Hello. Now we're moving slowly because we're kind of over encumbered. So. Yeah, I will just go and stash some stuff. Let's see. Excess weapons, yeah, the pistol, assault rifle, baseball bat, missile launcher. Yeah. All oh, right, the skill book. I could read that. Let's read the skill book. And Yeah, okay, it's uh, I wonder if Moira's shop is still open. I guess I'll keep like one one little stack of ten mil pistols, sure. Well let's go to Moira's place. I would imagine that sh her shop is still open. Surely. Yes. Hey, don't mind the smoke. It's perfectly safe to breathe. <laughs> really? All right, I'll take your word for it. Uh, yeah, let's do some business. What do you need? Oh, good. She's got money too, but mostly. What I'm interested in is, I guess, like this, something like this. My first laboratory, yeah. Right. Now. Okay. Pistols. All right. Well, first and foremost, obviously, like. Anything that is that has the oh, anything for which the only purpose is basically to be an instrument of trading, like the cigarettes. And then you start.
Oh, what am I doing? I should definitely put on my... Uh, yeah, trader outfit. Huh. Right. Right, so first... my first laboratory here and then hmm. not sure if that made a difference but maybe with the more expensive items it makes a little bit difference Yeah. So yeah, now I'm actually starting to get money. Mm -hmm. What else? Well. Electron charge packs, flame of fuel. Well, I have missile launchers. Hmm. Don't think I really use uh, like miniguns, but sure. Good hunting. Thanks. Remember. I'll buy whatever you're selling. That's good to know. And before I forget, switch back my usual stuff. Right. Yeah. Well, it's certainly been a long day. Let's save my game. Hmm. Mm. Maybe this, maybe I should uh, stop for now. Yeah, I mean, we did that whole ten penny thing. That was actually a rather long little quest. And obviously, the quests that we still have open are the kind of stuff that will take us to the DC ruins. So, I think that's going to be an entire adventure of its own. So, I think we'll stop for now. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time, and goodbye.